Hey, what's up, you guys? I pray that you are continuing to persevere. This is Sunday. This is the day that the Lord has made. The scripture says for us to be glad and rejoice in this day, man. And I pray that you will do that. Uh, welcome to the persevering word. And I'm praying that the word of God is going to bless you in a unique way because that's what it's all about. It's about us being uh, um, strengthened and built up and and matured in God's word. And that's what it's all about. We need God's word to make it throughout this day. And so um, I'm still on that teaching series, A Tough Road. And now we are dealing in the areas of trust. You know, we dealt with preparation. Now we're going into the trust area because we want to trust God with all of our heart and lean not to our own understanding. And so we dealt with, I teach on trusting God to guide us. Upon the last series, now I'm going to deal with trusting God to equip us. We want to be equipped for every good work, for everything that we have, whether good or bad, we want God to equip us. And so going into 2 Timothy chapter number 3, verse 17 from the Christian Standard Bible, it reads, it, so, it says, so that the man of God may be complete. I'm stopping right there for just a second. We want to be complete. And that word complete in the theological sense means to be mature. And God wants us to be matured in every area of our life. And that's from the good. That's from the bad. We should learn. We should, mature, we should mature. We should grow. God wants us to grow. Young man, God wants you to grow. Young woman, God wants you to grow. You can't stay where you are. And sometimes that's what we want to do. We want to stay right where we are, but then we want the abundance of God without growing. And it doesn't work like that. God wants to grow us. God wants, to us, God wants us to be complete. And as a matter of fact, that should be your spiritual goal. That's what Jesus, Jesus was complete in every aspect of his life. And we can be complete through Jesus. And that's something that we should strive for as men and women that God created. But I'm going to finish on reading this, reading it over. It says, so that the man of God may be complete. And then the key word, it says, equipped for every good work. You see, God will equip you for every good work, for every work that you are desiring to do, for every, for every assignment that he has for you. He wants to equip you. He wants to strengthen you. God prepares and gets us ready. And so we have to ask God, young man, ask God, young woman, ask God to equip you for it. Because right now you may be going through and the enemy may be knocking you upside your head. And, and, and it's probably because you hadn't asked God to equip you, give you the equipment. God equipped me with prayer. God equipped me with fasting. God equipped me with, with the word. Equip me. I need to be equipped. Put on the proper equipment. Put on the garment of God so I can handle this mess that I'm dealing with. Because we're all going through something, whether you want to admit it or not. But you can go through it with a smile. Why? Because God is equipping you when you ask him to. Ask God to equip you, and that's what he'll do. It's by faith, and, but, you, but you, at the same time, you know, faith without works is dead. So you have to put the work in. You have to put the study time in. Then you have to put this thing into action, man. So trust God to equip you. He'll do it, man. I'm going to talk to you soon. I'm going to see you next week. I'm praying for you. You pray for me. And remember, we're going to persevere through this thing together. Trust God, and he will equip you for every good work. I'm going to talk to you soon. Peace in Jesus as always.